Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan once again in this very exciting video of definite integration. This problem is from Brazilian Mathematical Olympiad 2019 based on definite integration obviously. So we will solve this question using substitution. Then we will see differentiation formulas, integration formulas and then we will conclude our solution part using logarithmics and its applications, properties. So let's get started. I am going to substitute here. So what I will substitute? Let me substitute x times x plus e raised to the power x equal to t. You can put y also. Let me open this x square plus x times e raised to the power x that is equal to t. Take derivative both sides. So 2x plus now if two functions f and g are there and we have to find the derivative then the derivative formula is f g dash plus g f dash differentiation by parts so it will become e raised to the power x x1 and x times e raised to the power x dx equal to dt if you will see, it is not matching with your numerator. You can simplify one step again. You can write, uh, if you will take x common or you can separate this 2x, then you can take e raised to the power x outside, it is x plus 1. So, nowhere you are getting minus sign. So, you cannot replace your numerator by dt. So, it is not possible to consider direct substitution. What we will do? If you are thinking that you will divide by x numerator denominator, it won't work. See, the bracket will be in the denominator 1 plus e raised to the power x over x. So that, that would generate the minus sign. Now come to the real part means I am going to divide numerator and denominator by x square. So let's divide. So 1 to 2 e raised to the power x x minus 1 over x square this is our numerator divided by and this is complete integration divided by x x plus e raised to the power x over x square dx integration 1 to 2 i will write e raised to the power x bracket 1 over x minus 1 over x square and denominator that is 1x will be cancelled out 1x is left to so 1 plus e raised to the power x over x this is our denominator dx now if you will substitute your denominator so it will generate e raised to the power x over x that derivative will come out e raised to the power x minus 1 over x square that term will come out so let's substitute our denominator 1 plus e raised to the power x over x equal to t 1 2 2 let me write one time so that i can see also 1 over x minus 1 over x square over 1 plus e raised to the power x over x and this is dx. Let us consider 1 plus e raised to the power x over x equal to t. Now one formula of before starting I am writing the differentiation it is called quotient rule. So formula is d n dash minus n d dash over d square. So let's Put this value equal to 2. Now, now find out derivative. So this 1 is 0. I am not writing that. e raised to the power x over x. Quotient rule will come into the picture. Okay. Denominator will be x square. The derivative of numerator e raised to the power x minus e raised to the power x. Derivative of denominator that is 1. dx equal to dt. Okay. So that value will be if you will divide directly then e raised to the power x 1 over x 
माइनस वन ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स इक्वल टू डी टी नाउ यू कैन सी द कंप्लीट न्यूमरेटर इज मैचिंग विथ अवर कंसिडरेशन सो इट विल कम आउट आई एम नॉट राइटिंग डेफिनेट इंटीग्रेशन लिमिट्स जस्ट सी आई विल रिप्लेस दिस होल टर्म डी एक्स वन ओवर एक्स माइनस वन ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स दैट विल रिप्लेस बाई डी टी एंड डिनोमिनेटर इज टी how simple this was now replace your limits because we have substituted something so when x tending to 1 what will be the value of t so t will tend to put here x is equal to 1 so 1 plus e raised to the power 1 over 1 so 1 plus e and when this is for 1 lower limit this part is done okay when x tending to 2 T will be one plus e power two over two. If you want to take LCM, then two plus e square over two completely. This is how you can write. Okay, this is for upper limit. So let me put that value. T will be one plus e, and upper limit will move two plus e square. Over two. Now integration of dt over t, ln t. Lower limit is one plus e. Upper limit is two plus e square over two. Now let us put the value and use some properties of logarithm to find out the correct answer. ln t 1 plus e t equal to 2 plus e square over 2 let's put now i am putting upper limit so it will be ln 2 plus e square over 2 minus lower limit ln 1 plus e now we know that ln a minus ln b that property of log is ln a over b so i will write ln 2 plus e square over 2 and 1 plus e in other words it was actually in that paper to match with this ln 2 plus e square divided by 2 plus 2e that this was exact proof so this is how we will find out it was substitution problem then differentiation steps then you can see the quotient rule also ln property also so that is how you will solve this kind of problem from olympiad i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to subscribe my channel thanks a lot